night got interesting we were out and about getting ready for sugar ray and then <laughs> what then what happened why are you wearing sunglasses in the tent because <laughs> <laughs> i wear my sunglasses first thing in the morning um i get migraines i've had migraines since i was a very young child um and they come on quickly so we were just out and about cruising around and all of a sudden i get auras and then i go completely numb and then i get a bad headache so i abruptly got a migraine last night um and i thought it went away and i think it did but for the first time ever i've gotten a rebound migraine so now it's seven o'clock in the morning and um i'm struggling again and I am out of migraine medicine. So hopefully I don't get any more. But it's going to be a really tough day. <laughs> Amelia just went off to a gas station to get some caffeine. Apparently that helps her get through these times. And I feel really bad for her. She was a hurting unit last night. And even into this morning. And... Uh, I can't relate, I've never had a migraine, but I know from my friends that they are debilitating. So I wish I could make it better, but I can't. So no crashies, no flatties, no migraineies. <laughs> but the sun is shining, it's Thursday. So Thursdays have a little magic to them. Happy Thursday, everybody. And uh, we're gonna get through this. How you doing? I'll survive. Always do. You have teddy grams on your face. <laughs> it's a good look. I'm saving it for later. <laughs> You're the queen of pain, right? I am, but I don't like this kind of pain. Neurological pain is bad, but um, maybe once I get moving. And the magic of Ragbri will help. Yeah, you know, all I can do is just be like, well, this is where I'm at. I gotta go forward. Um, don't really have an option just to stay. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good vibes here in Iowa, always. Good morning. Thank you, Mason City. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning! How you doing? Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Yeah! You look great! Hey. Yeah! Oh, Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Hello! Hello! Hey, Hey! Hey! Why is Basin City so friendly? Because there's it's a sort lot of, of an Iowa neighbors. thing. There's, there's a lot of friendly neighbors? Yeah, especially in this place. I don't know about like the north side and all those other places. <laughs> Over here. Over here for sure? Are you loving doing this? Huh? Is this really fun to do? I think so. Yeah. I do not know what I'm doing, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're giving people a smile. That's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I like it. You like it? Pretty short day, not even 50 miles. A nice break after the 100 mile ride, which is good for everybody. The sun is high in the sky, it's gonna be another cool day. We're lucky with the weather. It's probably the best weather I've ever experienced on Ragbri. Thank you! 
You can always count on the State Patrol to be blasting awesome music at Ragbri. How's it going? It's your birthday? Going fantastic. Thank you very much. Enjoying and, Iowa. And how old are you today? I am 70 years old. Whoa! Enjoying every minute of it. Right on. What have you been doing for the last five years? The last five years? <laughs> I've been fighting cancer. Really? Yeah. And have you beat cancer? Uh, so far so good, yeah. I just had a car T, what they call it. You did it. Happy birthday, my friend, and congrats on beating much. cancer. Appreciate it. We saw a sign for some goat kissing, and we're thinking that might be migraine medicine. What do you think? It's exactly what I need. <laughs> if you don't have actual trip tans, just kiss a goat. There's your goat. Hey buddy, are you gonna cure my migraine? Hey there. Hi buddy. Hi, sweetheart. You think it's nice. That was nice. Mandy. Did the goats help? The goats always help, yeah. Cute animals always help everything. Mm-hmm. And so do human kisses. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Yeah, girl, you're doing better, it seems like. I'm, I'm gonna get there. Look, a deer, wildlife. You don't see that often in Iowa. He's cruising into the cornfields. Look at that cruiser bike. Pretty slick. Are you riding this the whole way? Yeah. That's impressive. Every day. No, I have to show it today. Oh, okay. That's still a big deal. 50 miles on a cruiser is awesome. Good job, little buddy. Way to go. You got this! Yay. Yay. So this pool was your idea. It is. Yeah, what what inspired you to do this? Uh, well, I have a younger child and two granddaughters and then decided to do it for Rag Bri because why not have a refreshing place to jump in? Are, are people signing waivers before they do this? It is jump swim at your own risk. I am not responsible for nothing. Oh Let's see if I can make it in. Oh God. That was a close call. That was a little bit of a close call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna lose you for a second. Oh, we found some beans. Look at those black beans. We're you excited. You know it. We're Boop excited. Boo. And you like beans now, right? I do. So when I first met Ryan, I didn't really eat beans. And I knew that he loved beans, so I was like, I slowly built up my bean tolerance. So not because I didn't like them, it's just my stomach did not, um, wasn't a big fan of them. Now I eat them every day, and they're great. Yay Fantastic. beans! Yay beans! There goes the bacon. Look at that. Peanut butter, jelly, bacon. So this guy right here just made my sandwich. The Elvis, what's on the Elvis? Uh, banana, banana, and uh, bacon and peanut butter on bread. And you put chocolate on yours, so. That's right. And I didn't get bacon because I'm a vegetarian. There's a lot of smoothie vendors on Ragbri, but the best one is this one right here, Smoothie Revolution, all natural fruit, and they are so good.
How's it going, buddy? Thank you. How are you're, you? We're doing great. <laughs> are you rollerblading this whole thing? That's the plan. Yeah. Right on. Uh, what gets uh, the most tired on your body? Uh, the feet. The feet, really? The feet. So foot sore. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Right. Everything on. else feels good. The ass is fine. Yeah, the ass is good. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, guys? Awesome. Looking good. Taking Amelia out to the fields here. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds sketchy. Interesting. But this is something. Oh, there's wildflowers. I, there's wildflowers. I've been doing this since college, and it's called a field lay, where we just lay down in the ground and just feel connected. Is and it's just ground? a nice way to chill out. Oh. And it's quiet away from all the masses. tunnel ole 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 that didn't last very long but we don't care ole 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 we've just made it to mason city So we have crashed the pork belly party woo, woo, woo with our friends Brentley and Mary Beth yes. and Greer. Woo. And pork belly is an example of a charter where people pay money and they bring your tents and all your stuff and they have these gigantic tent villages and parties and food and entertainment. It's with it's like ragbri within ragbri and it's we're awesome. just we're having a great time. Why do you guys use pork belly? Because we want to we want to focus on writing. We want to just enjoy the experience. We don't want to have to worry about where am I going to set up my tent and where am I going to eat and what am I going to do and whatever. So they set up your tent. You come here, you rent one of these tents. Your bags are in the tent when you get to town. So after a long day of riding, you just sort of have to blow up your air mattress and you get some, you get some food and it's awesome. That's cool. It's, it's full service. Yeah, I heard full. Speaking of full service, I hear they actually shower you. They yeah, have somebody yeah, you, personally shower. Yeah, you. yeah. You get a personal shower, a, a shower er, uh, and a, a masseuse, and a masseuse, and it's all, of course, included for free. And um, <laughs> the masseuse isn't. The, it, no, it's uh, no. You don't really get a shower er, but you get a hot shower. Yeah. And you get access if you want to pay. You can get a massage. Uh, they Yo, usually have night. They have nightly entertainment. They have live music. Um, That's so cool. I will stop interviewing you so you can eat your yummy yum, pork chop. Yum, pork chop. It's pork chop pork night. Pork chop. Yay! <laughs> Rag ride deck five. Way to go, everybody. <laughs> oh, and how's your migraine? Are you good? I'm good. I got some medication here in Charles City, and so fingers crossed, no more for the week. We're done. We're done. Done, no done whammies. with all that. No, no whammies. No whammies. <laughs> And I got some sweet corn. Look who camera, came camera. to say goodbye. Oh, you're, on, I'm on camera. Yeah, you're in camera. Oh, wow, now camera. you're on camera. <laughs> it's camera on camera. It's, it's, it's camera inception. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for, um, yeah, thanks for coming over, hanging out with us. Yeah, absolutely. That was super fun. You two are my favorite cross-country cyclists in the world. I wish you all the best Thank on your, you. your journey across the United States. You're going to finish you. at the Priority Headquarters. Yes. yes. Can't wait for that. You should you should, you should ride Join your bike us. out and meet us. Yeah, yeah I should. Just Good keep, idea. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, just, just keep, keep going. going. Just, these bikes look... Yeah, they're, they're, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Those bikes will do it. Tent? I mean, what Can else you do you take some time off work? Sure, they won't mind. Another few months. Yeah, no, <laughs> only one month. One month. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, just another month. Oh, I have yeah. to ride faster. Just, ah, okay. Or just quit. 
Oh yeah. yeah. You don't need a job, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. I'll I'll support you with my YouTube money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, Mike. Oh, yeah. oh. So fun. Alright, happy trails. No flatties, no, no crashies, no, no whammies. Woo! Thank you, flat, soft, green grass. How you feeling? Great. We have no migraines. No migraines today. Thumbs crossed. Thumbs crossed just like the Swedes do. Yep. And look at that blue skies. Let's go. wondering where we get our water there's lots of these water station type operations in every town and you just come up and fill up the bottle with that good Iowan water it is a treasure hunt to find them sometimes and then you're like ooh, water good morning hello hello good morning good morning good morning <laughs> Amelia are you ready for another awesome day in Iowa where she's ready. Good morning! Yeah! Woo! A little early morning nirvana to start the day. Thank you, state troopers! My shadow's catching up to your shadow. Better start pedaling. So after many rag rides now, I've realized but the best way to avoid these crazy crowds is just to go through them, skip all the long lines, and then find a farm stand down the road. There's plenty of farms that don't have big lines. Yo, what's up, buddy? Woo, good morning. How you guys doing today? Well, so far, so good. Yeah. Hills are a little bit long. I bet. We're hoping to go we started in Ionia, we're hoping to go to Lawler. Right on. And that'll be enough for today. Yeah. And who is Logan? Logan is my son. Okay. He's 25. We, uh, every year in September, we do a rollerblade marathon. 26.2. Wow. In Duluth. So, today is a get in shape practice run. Right on. And you live in this area? Yeah, about 20 miles away. Nice. <laughs> had a friend build the chair for me. It was kind of my design. He made it made it happen. It works. It works Lo for Logan us. Logan loves seeing the world this way? Oh, yeah. We made the mistake of telling him last night we were going to do this. <laughs> He didn't hardly sleep, <laughs> oh, that's but he's right. sleeping now, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, Logan loves the crowd. Yeah. Like, uh, at the finish of the marathon, everybody's clapping and cheering for him. Yeah. Can't get a bigger smile. Hey, Logan, wake up. Logan, up. Logan <laughs> woke up. Go, Logan. Smile, How you smile. doing, Logan? Don't you smile. You're smiling big, buddy. <laughs> Nice, man. Uh, you and your dad are amazing. You have a good one. But dad's going to take a break. Dad's going to take a break. All right. Have a good one, guys. Free will donations. Come get your lemonade. <laughs> yeah, Gatorade yeah. and ice cold water. All right. Did you make the lemonade? My mom did. Oh, very cool. World's best lemonade. What makes it so good? No lines. The lemon. No lines. No lines. No yeah, lines. Lemons. No lines. And it's made with love, right? Yeah. 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 And look at this cash register. Wow. <laughs> Can we see how much money you have in there? Are you yeah. doing well today? Whoa. And we have 
Good job. Good job. What are you going to do with all that money? Probably split it. Probably split it. And Buy some toys. Ever. You're going to donate it? Yep. Yeah, to what? the school park. You're going to donate it to the school pool? Yeah, they're park. making a new park. Oh, cool. You guys are great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of them. You want to try it? Like, I will take it. Here, you take a Go take a photo of Amelia. That's Amelia, my girlfriend. Hi. Point it right up at her. Point it right up at her face. Little there she is. Good job. <laughs> Let me just turn it up. Yeah, you want to play? You want to play? Yeah. Oh, you're a friendly guy. You want to be a bike packing dog? You want to travel the world with us? Yeah. Who's Ryan Van Duzer? Who's Ryan Van Duzer? Who's that guy? What's up, man? What's up? So what inspired you to make this sign? <laughs> uh, I've been watching your videos for a couple years now. I got really excited about biking because of you and the inspiration. Um, when we ran into you on Sunday, it was really cool to see like the energy you have and how, you know, we all see that energy in the videos, but to actually meet it and experience it, it was amazing. I mean, we hear you coming before you get there. People have been stopping by. I think we've had 20, 30, 40, 50 people possibly just take selfies with the signs. So I'm sure your Instagram's blown up, man. Sorry about that. But we've had people walking by, no whammies, no crashies the whole day. So oh, that's awesome. Man. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, You've made high a lot five, of people stay. High five. So. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. Let's graffiti the wall. All right. Ryan. Ryan. And Amelia. Van Booner. Van Booner was here. I have lost 215 pounds and um, I started uh, with a weight loss surgery and then I ended up losing about 140 pounds to that and then um, picked up uh, biking with my brother and my brother's also lost 215 pounds, we both have uh, and we both contribute a lot of our weight loss to biking so um, we started biking, lost another 70 pounds plus to that, uh, fell in love with it, did our first rag ride last year. Um, actually, my mom wants to do it next year. My fiance's out here with me this year, so like we're getting a whole bunch of people into it, which is cool. Um, what do you love most about cycling? I uh, just the road, like being out there, like the views. Like I, being I had cancer and lost my arm, I slow down and I appreciate things different now. You know, yeah. like I look at the beauty of Iowa. You know, a lot of people probably just pass right on by it and get to the destination where they're going. Where I'm like enjoying the ride, so. I think a lot of people do, but that's, I really like to slow down and enjoy things, I guess, so. And so what happened to your arm? Uh, so I had a cancer called a sarcoma, epithelioid sarcoma, 10 years ago. Um, very rare cancer, less than 150 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with it a year. And uh, of that, half of them die in the first five years. So I'm very blessed to be alive, and I'm 10 years out, seven years cancer-free. Um, my doctor always said, you know, because I was overweight, he said, you're going to be, you're going to look funny, you're going to die of a stroke or a heart attack, and and you beat cancer, you know, like, so, that kind of helped wake things up for me, you know, so, uh, yeah. And riding with this arm is no problem? No, none at all. Uh, it's actually a shotgun, uh, made for a shotgun hunting, um, <laughs> and I, when you lose an limb, you kind of got to engineer things, you know, you got to, like, find a way to adapt, um, and that's more or less what I did. I sitting there thinking one day I was like hey that almost fits like a handlebar and thickened up my tape on my handlebar and made it work uh, you know I've rode a couple thousand miles with it now so. it just kind of clips right on like yep. clamps and that's yep. made for shotguns huh yeah and like I say just thickened up the bar tape and sticks on there almost too well sometimes <laughs> Right on, I'm big a fan of you, though. You know? uh, you don't need I got to I gotta put me. some plugs in there for no, you. No, it's all good. Yeah, I'm impressed, man. I'm really, yeah. I'm really proud of you. I don't know you. I'm proud of you. That's yeah, a big well, deal, man. You. Absolutely. I mean, like I say, my brother, 
I, I'm just as proud of him, you know, like yeah. we, we've done it together. Yeah. And, I mean, three years ago, we would have thought people were rag It was crazy, you know, now look at us. So we've yeah. changed our lifestyle, got healthy, fell in love with it, ride yeah. bikes. Now you're one of the crazy ones. I'm one of the crazy ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like being crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you're the man, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> It's a lot of fun out here. Yeah, it is. I don't ever climb up out of the saddle because I'm scared of. Oh yeah. Hold on, and I don't reach over and go out of my. Yeah. I don't ever shift to the small ring. I'm always stay in the big <laughs> ring, so it becomes a chore. So my legs get to work out. Oh, that's right. You can't use the, the gears over here. Uh -uh. I just have my back brake, and I mean, I'm sure you know a bike shop could help me adjust, but I just make it work. So. This works. Yep. Right on. Congrats, you two. Thank you. Have fun in your wedding. One, 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 two, two, two. You ever want to come back to Iowa? You're more than invited. Loving these ragbri clouds today. How about you, Amelia? They're amazing. Little puffy clouds like out of a painting, little Bob Ross action. Yeah. Give us some shade. Happy, little happy, shade. happy little clouds. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have a little cheering section on a hill. Feels good. All right, we bailed off the Ragbri route. We saw a sign for a bash, a big party with a slip and slide. So of course, we're gonna go check it out. All right, this is what we really came for, the slip and slide. Time to cool off. You gonna do this? Whoop, whoop, you know it. Here goes Amelia Boone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's some good, good soap. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, that was a good slip and slide. Are you doing Dawn Angels? Yeah. Are you getting clean? Slip and slide angels. <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> this is the human washer machine. <laughs> we scored here at this farm party. I'm drinking some rowdy Minute Maid lemonade. What do you have? Some type of Canned cocktail. Canned cocktail. But what I'm most excited about is this coconut cream pie. Ooh, yeah. Hey. Hey. West Union. We did it. West Union. Woo Let's go find the pool. Let's go find the pool. There's the town pool. There's Amelia. Here's where we're gonna camp. There's some flat ground. I like it, high five. High five, last camping spot of the trip. Oh, are you a little sad we're not gonna be I'm able to camp? I'm kinda sad, I'm kinda sad that like rag life is coming to a close. Coming to a close, but we can camp in your backyard the rest of the summer. Totally. <laughs> Let's go to the pool. Here we go. Whew, my legs are a little tired going up these stairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> there she goes. Oh yeah. There you go. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. So Amelia, we've done six days of rag Brian. We have. This is the eve of the seventh day, our final day. Yeah. We have a beautiful picnic of, of junk food here overlooking the the pool. Uh-huh. What did you what do you what do you think about all this? 
I don't want to end. <laughs> All right, seriously, I kind of came into this being like, don't really know if this is for me. Never ridden this long, not used to this many people. And then now I'm like, so every day is rag by, right? Yeah. Just wake up, ride your bike, stop for some food, meet some cool people, ride some more. Jump in water and just have a lot of fun. This yeah. is my fifth time now and I love it as much my fifth time as I did my first time and it's been really special to share it with you and I'm so psyched that you like it mm -hmm. but yeah uh, reintegrating into the real world is difficult because you're like where's the first breakfast stop why are cute little kids cheering me on everywhere I go <laughs> why is my cell phone working and I can get emails yeah that Ooh. is that is one thing about Ragbri, cell phones barely work because all these little towns just get overloaded. But, uh, yeah. So we're just going to sit here and enjoy the evening, watch the sunset over the cornfields, uh -huh. eat our snacks, and uh, tomorrow we ride, what, 65-ish miles? 65-ish miles, the hilliest day yet, 3,000 feet of climbing into Lansing. So yeah. we have a, a, a day ahead of us. We ride at dawn, baby. That's right, we have to boogie because we're catching a shuttle at 2 p.m across the state back to her car so we can drive nine hours back to Boulder. So tomorrow's gonna be all mostly business. Not as much stopping and goofing around, but that's okay. Man, we're up early. Good morning, it's my favorite time of day. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's our final Casey's party of the week. It is. Thanks, Casey's. Thanks, Casey's. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here checking out the beautiful sunrise. Mm, hey, buddy, see. how you doing? Hi there. Hi there. Yeah. You've been riding with mom all week? Yeah. How long, do you, how long have you been riding with your dog? One week. Oh, I got my bike in last August, almost a year. Yeah? Yeah. And you ride everywhere? Yeah. That's so cute. And he's been here the whole week? Yep. Oh, you good cutie guy. You ready, Amelia? Ready. All right. No flatties, no crashies, Crash no, no whammies. Whammy. Final day. Woo! Let's cruise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Iowa. I love you. One final day. How you feeling? Fantastic! Fantastico! On stretch! 65 miles to the Mississippi River. As we pedaled out of Charles City, I was struck by an overwhelming sense of gratitude for Iowa, for this event, for all the people who put on this event, for all the vendors who feed us food, for all the neighbors who came out and wished us well, for all the smiles. Ah, it was overwhelming to be outside on this beautiful morning, pedaling our final day of rag ride. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Woo! I always have a hard time with goodbyes. It's difficult for me to say goodbye to something so fun and so beautiful. So I made sure to savor every last moment of this morning. area. There's a lot of bluffs as you can see. It's not fully cultivated like most of Iowa. We have some nature and trees and rivers. First big hill of the day, really the week maybe. Yeah, first sustained hill. We got this. 
little Saturday morning wake up call. Nice job, nice job. Nice job, everybody. We're getting there, we're getting there. Nice job, Brent. Thank you, Ryan. You got it, buddy. Good work, good work. We're getting there. We did it. We did it. Yes. Good job, everybody. Only 17 more hills to go. <laughs> Want to know what else was going through my mind? The fact that I wasn't even supposed to be here. I was supposed to be in Sweden, but for reasons out of my control, that trip was canceled. And instead of throwing a pity party, I called Amelia and said, hey, can you get a week off work? Can you do this? Can you go to Ragbri with me? I know it sounds crazy, but I bet you'll love it. And I'm so glad that this was our first adventure together. It was so incredibly special to share this with Amelia, to share my love of this event and this state and bikes and camping with the woman I love. Amelia, slow down. Rack ride is almost over. No. Don't go fast. I don't want it to end. So we have a couple miles left. Yep. What do you think of all this? Amazing. Exceeded all my expectations. Yep. I love Iowa. And I love Iowa because of Rag I have really haven't spent any time in Iowa other than being on Rag So when I think of Iowa, this is it. Friendly people in every town welcoming us in, making pie. People from all over the country and all over the world. I love it. Hey Amelia, we did it! We made it! There's the Mississippi right there! Hi, Hello! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> oh, I love you, Ragbra! I love you, Iowa! I love you, bicycle! Bicycle! <laughs> I love you, lamp! Bicycle! I love lamp! I love lamp! I love lamp! <laughs> thank you, Airport! Yeah, Airport! I don't want it to be over. I want Rag Ride to be a transcontinental event. How cool would that be? Pie across America. Aw, <laughs> uh, that sounds amazing. That should just be life in general. Just yeah. biking around from city to city. Yeah. I'm, cool people. I'm gonna bring some Rag Ride, the Rag Ride spirit back to everyday life. There she is, Amelia's here, yay! Hi! Oh, Woo. Crash. Are you excited to get your spoke bracelet? I'm super excited. What's up, my friend? Hey. What's your name? Liam. So we are riding 48 states over four years for addiction recovery awareness. Yeah. What do you love most about riding bikes? It connects you to people. All the time you get to meet all kinds of great people. You, you know, you might think the country's divided, and it is, and there's all of this stuff that goes on. But when you're on your bike and you're meeting people at little towns across America, it, it basically uh, it rebuilds your faith that America is going to be okay because the people of America are the best. I love it, buddy. Yeah, Renee. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? You're making friends, Amelia? I'm making friends. I found a new boyfriend. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. So I attempted suicide three times and was planning a fourth and uh, 
A friend said it's one pedal at a time to me, and it changed my life. I used to be 270 pounds. Um, I was mentally unhealthy, um, and the cycling saved it, changed it all. Yeah, buddy, look at that. We got the Dream Teamers. What's up? How you feeling? How's it going, Rachel? Going great. Hello, hello. Thank you for cheering us on. Yay! Uh, yeah. All right, Kool Aid for a dollar. Thank you so much, my friend. I love connecting with people like you and I'm proud of you, man. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You got this. Yep, we got it.